There she is on the bed again, little Maggie. Okay, it's day four, 31 day constructions in 31 days, and I'm getting very close to my Boston trip. I'm gonna go to Speakeasy Stage. I put a little promo video, by the way, on YouTube, uh, promoting my Boston show, where I have some um, oral highlights, A-U-R-A-L, and one low light. Listen to it. Okay, this is uh, Marty Short's Fame Becomes Me. Very overlooked as a score. People think of it as just like a comedy show. It is a great, great, great score by um, Scott Whitman and Mark Shaman. Great music. It's not just like music to sort of like let the comedy lyrics shine. No, it's great music plus hilarious lyrics. Okay, so I'm going to play you just a little. This is the opening number, and this is um, Brooks Ishmanskis, Mary Bird Song, and Nicole Parker, and Mark Shaman singing about like all, the, all these one-man shows on Broadway. The first thing I'm obsessed with is, first of all, when, when Brooks sees Mark Shaman, there's all this hubbub, people saying that's Mark Shaman, but Brooks is mumbling in the background like, that's Mark Shaman. That is Mark Shaman! Okay, I'm obsessed with that. Here we go. Another curtain goes up on a one-man play. Cause if your last film was a flop, then hello Broadway. Okay now, hello Broadway, I'm obsessed with this lyric cause it is so crazily disrespectful. Here we go. Wait, I yelled I need a drink when I saw Elaine Switch. When I caught Cheetah Rivera, I yelled dance bitch. Another curtain goes up. You literally yell that <laughs> to a 75 year old like grand dame of Broadway? I'm obsessed with the disrespect. It's such an amazing lyric. Okay, the next thing you're gonna hear is an amazing rhyme with the word fog. It's hilarious. Here we go. Oh, Broadway! I yelled, I need a drink when I saw Elaine Switch. When I caught Cheetah Rivera, I yelled, dance, bitch! Another curtain goes up on an empty stage. Another chance to say, my God, she looks good for her age. We go from theater to theater. We're in such a fog, cause everyone's vagina's got a monologue. Okay, now comes a song which is so brilliantly sung by Capathia Jenkins and has phenomenal lyrics. So at this point of the show, Marty Short has died and now Martin's playing like another character and Capathia comes on stage and she's like, this is the moment of the show where I have to come on. The first thing I want you to hear is how Marty riffs. Okay, it's not called a riff. Here we go. Hey, hey, oh man, sing. So Capathia riffs first. Take it home, kid. It's not a riff, it's literally 19, 1935 Jimmy Durante. It's like the whitest. Okay, I'm obsessed with that. And then keep listening. Yes, I have just one question which I'll ask if I may. Why the hell did they name it? The Great White Way Cause if you wanna hit Learn what Sondheim doesn't know And let a big black lady stop the show Now um, she's asked some questions, and I love how her response is so hostile. But it's not even—it's not even acknowledged how rude she's being because she immediately goes into the next lyric. Okay, hold on. Let's find it. Here we go. Amazing rhyme, and I love how it just continues one second later. Sing something from Tosca. No, it has to have some grit. Can I dance a dream ballet? Oh, please don't bore us with that shit. You know the show is almost over. Seems your star has up and died. It sure sounds like a cue to me. So white folks step aside. Okay, now I love this next lyric because it sort of makes it makes no sense, yet all the sense in the world. It's just an amazing rhyme. You'll hear. And just break out the organ, go and grab your tambourine. Body shot, go have a coffee, and I'll go get Ben Vereen. Right. Why are you getting Ben Vereen? 
if it's about a big black lady, and yet it's just an amazing rhyme. Okay, hold on. Oh, it's almost over. Seems your star has up and died. It sure sounds like a cue to me. So white folks step aside. Yeah, right. Okay, first of all, I love the modulation. Second of all, it's my this is my absolute favorite lyric in the whole thing. <laughs> it's sort of saying how a show from the 50s could have been saved. It's an amazing lyric. And also the harmonies in back. I love the harmonies in back. Here we go. I resent that, but I will play it for you again. I find it rude. Okay, and I love how he describes, it's totally calling out I Know Where I've Been, the song that they actually wrote for Hairspray. I love they call it Righteous Rage. Here we go. When a big black lady stops the show Well, can I sing some folk? You're better off with R and B. Well, can we clap along? All right, but not on one and three. If you need some body humor or a dose of righteous rage, lose that pale face sudden foster and put me Okay, then you gotta hear this amazing F sharp she hits. It is out of control amazing. Yes, a big black lady stops the show.